now we understood how group and subgroups are related and how the symmetry functions or the symmetry elements or the symmetry operation diminishes as we move from the one group to what the subgroup but during diminishing if any symmetry element or symmetry operation goes out whatever its resemblance is there whatever its symmetry functions are there where they go how are they correlated relationship between the group and subgroup with respect to the correlation aspects of the symmetry functions that let us understand with a simple term ascent and descent in the symmetry ascent means moving from low symmetry point group to the high symmetry point group and whichever the various point groups we are discussing those are related by means of group subgroup relationship and descent means moving from high symmetry point group to the low symmetry point group how the descent in group to subgroup or ascent from subgroup to the group is correlated that we are going to study in this part and it is our last part of molecular symmetry and group theory for msc part one let us know ascent and descent in the molecular symmetry with respect to correlation diagrams we have studied the relationship between the group and the subgroup if point groups are related as a group and subgroup then they are irreducible representations we represent them by molecular notations are also related to each other for example consider d4h and its subgroup say c4v in this slide the character table for d4h is represented common operations between d4h and c4v are blocked off only characters for those blocked operations are represented here for each irreducible representation of d4h the characters for the shared operations define an irreducible representation of C4V which is a subgroup of D4H. What can we say? There is a correlation between the representations of D4H and C4V. There are only five irreducible representations in C4V while 10 are the irreducible representations for D4H. So what can we conclude? Each representation of C4V correlates to 2 of D4H and this can be shown by correlation diagram. Interestingly, physical significance of correlations is here C4V is a subgroup of D4H. Characters for a subgroup and characters for main group are same for shared operations. Here the operations which are common are represented. Their characters also are same. So character is a function of operation. With this diagram you will understand correlations. In D4H two irreducible representations are there. Those correlate to one irreducible representation in C4V. Not only Mullikan's notations are correlated, the Mullikan's notations which resemble symmetry functions, those also are merging. See for example, A1G and A2U, these are the two irreducible representations in D4H and those are merging or those are correlating to A1 irreducible representation of C4V. By the way, A1G resembles X square plus Y square and Z square. A2U resembles Z. So all these three X square plus Y square, Z square and Z are a part and parcel or they do resemble a1 means the symmetry functions adhered to the Mullikan's notations also are correlated. It is the best example for correlation. One more C. A2G and A1U of D4H correlates to A2 of C4V. A2G resembles RZ. A1U resembles nothing. Therefore, A2 resembles only RZ. Let us understand it by one more example. B1G and B2U of D4H correlates to B1. B1G resembles X square minus Y square and B2U resembles no any symmetry function. Therefore, B1 resembles only one X square minus Y square as a symmetry function. Say one more. B2G and B1U. These are the two irreducible representations in D4H and they correlate to B2. B2G resembles XY. B1U has no any symmetry function. Therefore, B2 has only one symmetry function as a resemblance that is XY. Now, interestingly, EG and EU, these are the irreducible representations in D4H and they correlate to 
E of C four B. See the symmetry functions also are correlated. E G represents R X R Y as a doublet, as well as X Z and Y Z as a doublet, and E U represents X Y as a doublet. E of C four B represents all those three doublets: R X R Y X Z Y Z. And X Y. It's understanding of correlations of subgroup with the help of correlation diagram about degeneracy in D four H two dimensional two representations are there. Which are those E G and E U. While in C four B only one two dimensional representation is there. That is E. So number of multiple dimensional representations are reduced here. So degeneracy. Was more in D four H and is less in D four V. I can and less in C four V. I can't say that it is completely removed because still two dimensional irreducible representation is there. And while representing also in parentheses, two functions are there. It indicates existence of doublet. With this example, the concept of degeneracy will be more clear. Generally, we consider that higher order point group is irreducible representation. Many irreducible representation is two or three correlates to one of the irreducible representation from subgroup. Means in D four H and C four V, what we found two irreducible representation of D four H were correlating to one irreducible representation of C four V. Here for A one, A two, B one, B two, the case is different. But for E, it's a two dimensional representation in C four V. But in C two V, there is no any two dimensional irreducible representation. So one irreducible representation for C four V. Is correlating to two irreducible representations of C to V. It is a reverse kind of the correlation. And here, D general C of two dimensional irreducible representation that is E in C for V is destroyed, is diminished, is removed in fundamental one dimensional irreducible representation B one and B two, which is in C to V. So, in order to explain this degeneracy, this special example is considered. As I discussed in the previous slide, here also in block, the common operations whichever are there, those are represented. And surprisingly, these common operations have the same character in subgroup as well as main group. Means characters in C four V and characters in C two V are same. But one change you can notice here in C four V. All vertical planes were in one class, while in C two B, though the two vertical planes are there, but they themselves are separate classes. Yes, what's the reason behind that? Abelian group, symmetry transformations, all those mathematical relations are there. But anyhow, now we are interested in the characters. Characters for all that the vertical planes are what the same here and accordingly the irreducible representations are chosen means if you read carefully this a1 of c4b and b1 of c4b correlates to a1 of c2b one more logic i inform to you a2 of c4b and b2 of c4b correlates to a2 of c2b and e correlates to two irreducible representations b1 and b2 Let us understand it by means of correlation diagram. See here, A one and B one of C four V correlates to A one of C two V. A two and B two of C four V correlates to A two of C two V. And E of C four V correlates to two irreducible representation B one and B two, removing D general C. As a homework, I am asking a question which can test your understanding about the correlations in D four H point group. A one G and A two U. These two irreducible representations are. These two irreducible representations signifies which symmetry functions that you have to write down. Additionally, these two irreducible representation correlates to A one irreducible representation of C four V. Also, you have to write down that A one correlates to which symmetry functions. Yes, students. I put my efforts to the level best to make the concept of molecular symmetry and group theory crystal clear to you. Once the concepts are clear, later on further applications are there. You could do go to the various question papers of NET, GATE, and SET. 
get the questions and you have to work to solve the questions the base needed to solve the questions that are made clear even if you have any doubt any question as a teacher it's my priority is my responsibility to answer your questions but work from you is necessary you have to go through the videos you have to answer the questions asked in the videos and further if doubts are there i am available for you i'll be happy to answer your questions so i was with the objective that this molecular symmetry and group 3 concept should be very clear to you is it clear or not you should get some interest to study this molecular symmetry and group 3 whether you develop interest or not and in competitive examination even in the university of mumbai examination whether you can answer the questions or not on 23rd of february we are going to discuss and there you have to give the feedback if you feel that i did something for you then i expect and request you give feedback that will help me a lot to improve let be a teaching and learning process a powerful process in our nation thank you